Non-dual awareness is really a specific type of way of reporting um, awareness or experience of the world or consciousness. There's a lot of different words that people use for it. And an interesting thing about those different words is that people are often very dogmatic. They feel a very strong relationship to one or the other of them. So oftentimes we have to use sort of a whole bunch of words when we're talking to more than one person so that they'll feel a resonance or they'll feel it click. Now, non-dual from my perspective really comes from the interviews that I've done with people who are in that state. And the interviews that I've done really shake out just a handful of categories that people have reported consistently across all of the different interviews. Now, there's lots of things that are temporary that maybe one person says or another person says, but there's really only a handful of things that are reported across the entire population. So their core claim is typically some sort of loss of self, some sort of um, loss of a personal identity. So I would say there is no Jeffrey here talking to you, and that's literally what they would say to me. Um, the problem with very vague claims like that, from my perspective, is that you know, you're obviously still sitting there, you're having a conversation with them. In some cases, you know, I have a research person that I've known for over 15 years, and you know, that person seems the same to me as they did 15 years ago. Um, and so a lot of what I try to do is sort of boil these larger, more vague terms down. But to get back to your question briefly, um, Non-dual, other things that they report besides uh, a sense of loss of self is a dramatic reduction in thinking. They, in fact, they often report as having no thoughts, but my research shows that they do, in fact, have thoughts. Um, a sense of unity or oneness, a sense of completeness, fullness, and at the same time, a sense of tremendous personal freedom, tremendous sense of freedom. Um, there's a loss of fear that often accompanies it. There's a loss of identification with the personal story that often accompanies it. And so there's sort of a range of phenomena that fall out of that idea of if you think, you know, geez, I've lost my personal sense of self, well, there's all sorts of things that fall out of that. Uh, and they're not too surprising.